what do you think the world sees you as? What does the world see me as? Yeah, because... Well, I hope they don't see me as a dick. Huh? Uh, that kind of be my, my goal at the end of the day. But are, are you thinking more of the sense of what does our personal brand? Yeah. Uh, what, what is that in the eyes of Absolutely. other people? You know, some people have seen <laughs> good success with being the monster truck announcer in their, in their videos. Some people have had really in-depth conversations. And I think that it all has a different, a different uh, uh, level of enjoyment by the consumer. But how long is it sustainable? Do you want to be known as the guy who's the promotional guy, or do you want to be known as the guy who's offers great value for, and has longer a longevity in the business? I think a lot of people in today's video age t seem to go after that professional wrestling idea of it, right? Yeah, I would agree with and that. And does it really lend itself to your brand? Well, no. I mean, really, well, people have to understand that first off. You know, the brand is not something that you define. Right, your brand is something that your customers define for you. Right, so it's how your customers perceive you is really what your brand is. I mean, we 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 need to come up with an idea as far as how we would like to be perceived. But at the end of the day, our ultimate brand is how someone else perceives yeah, us. Yeah, and a good point because I think a lot of people push it to what their idea is, and they're totally wrong. Yeah, they they the customers they try to be someone they're not. Being authentic and being true to you is so important to the validity of how consumer consumers consume the content, consume you, and the brand, right? Yeah, and so 100%. many people put on that wrestling persona or, you know, a fake persona trying to get it done. Yeah, no, no that's very, very true. Yeah.